Well, let us go to the Lord in prayer in a moment of silent reflection at this time. Oh God, thank you for this day. It is not a day that is exactly as we expected a few days ago. But nonetheless, this is the day. This is the day that you've made. And so in this day, let us rejoice and be glad. Glad for our blessings. Glad for our fellowship with one another. Our fellowship with you. And grateful for your son. Lord, as we consider that Jesus gathered courage to come into public in the city of Jerusalem, we reflect that uh, now we need to gather courage not to go out into public and into, into crowds, but courage to, uh, to pull away physically, not spiritually or mentally but to see that as, as an act of courage and an act of service. We pray for everyone affected by our current crisis with the coronavirus. We pray, Lord, that uh, those who have lost loved ones might be comforted. We pray that we might uh, pray for one another, support one another, and use all the marvelous ways that you have put into our hands to communicate. Let us use the technology that we have at our hands. Let us do what we can with our bodies to serve you and to uh, keep fit and healthy and keep looking forward to a day when we have a conclusion of this crisis. We pray for our country and all countries at this time seeking to find health and wholeness and healing. May we seek this together in the name of Jesus, our Savior, he who taught us to pray as we sing at this time. Bless you. 